So we sit down in A and L uh, and give the interpretation. The, the treatment goes through phases. Phase one is induction, and next, phase two is consolidation. Now, in consolidation, the goal is to control residual disease because sometimes induction therapy may not eradicate all the human cells. So we have to assure that there is complete killing after induction, and that's why we need to go to consolidation. We go to consolidation after we achieve the goals in induction, after we achieve complete remission. Now, we have two different regimens for consolidation, a standard or uh, a three-drug regimen for patients with average risk to start with, or those with the EMD fast restraint, and this contains necrostin, necrotipurin, and interpretin and This is standard for the regimen. Now, we want to intensify consolidation uh, if, if we have two, two conditions. In the very beginning, the patient was high risk. We said that high risk may be according to patient age, carry time, WBC count, basal WBC count. Or we got to intensify consolidation if the patient did not show early fast response. We did not achieve complete remission with induction. The patient classified as a 2 or a 3. So again, we go a little bit more aggressive and we go to intensify consolidation. And so we have the Lincoln Crystal, Cytotosmolite, Golders, Addison, and Lecoptopurin, five new drugs. Okay? Now, after consolidation, we have two alternating phases of treatment for maintenance the delayed maintenance and uh, intra maintenance and delayed intensification to secure the case and make sure any. Uh, any potential for is, is uh, aggregate is controlled. And so we have one or two cycles, one interim delayed, one interim delayed, two, four in difference. They are alternating. Now after that, we go to the last phase, which is the uh, longest interim. It might take a couple of years or maybe two years. It's the maintenance phase. The maintenance phase, we use a standard protocol called POMP. This is the standard protocol. And you have to know the protocols and the drugs in the protocols because I will be using the protocols in exam. So if I bring POMP into you, you should know what are the drugs and when it should be used. Now, POMP contains four drugs. P for the uh, trade name of the catapurin. O for Lincrustin, Lincrustin, the other important trait name is Oncogene. So in many protocols, we refer with, with O to Lincrustin. And for methotrexate and Pfarbredozone. So we have four drugs in POMP. And we start from the after we finish the delayed intensification and the maintenance uh, uh, regimens. We can go up to two years, sometimes three years, it depends. Patients with a little bit more uh, aggressive disease or those with worse prognosis, for example, uh, a male patient, we said that the prognosis in the male patient is a little bit worse. Uh, 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 T-cell leukemia, for example, uh, uh, small respondents, uh, some factors, CNS involvement. We might go up to three years of maintenance regimen. Metaptopurin is taken already once daily. Metatrexate are taken parenterally weekly. Vincristin pulses once monthly, and the patient must come to the, to the hospital. Brignizone, one day, one to day, five on monthly basis. And at the higher regimen, uh, patient adherence and compliance is important because if they break in, this is a long term therapy, and they have to come for Vincristin pulses for metatrexate. So, if they do not come and they break the regimen, assuming that the patient is improved or the baby is improved, there is high risk of relapse. Okay? So we have to follow the patient. If they do not show, we have to call them, inquire why they are not coming. We have to follow the patient because otherwise relapse can happen. 
We have seen cases disappear, they do not complete the maintenance therapy, and they come after a few months, sometimes a year, with disease relapse that is more aggressive to treat. We induce first time, second time, we do not achieve complete remission. I know a boy who, who disappeared in the middle of this, and uh, he came after months and gave the disease again with CNS involvement and testicular involvement. In boys, in males, Testicular involvement is very bad. And uh, he did not respond to induction and he died eventually because he did not, his family did not uh, appropriately maintain maintenance therapy. And so this is not maintenance is important and years is important. Right. We said that some patients, they should sell, so I don't have to pull on time, okay. Hyperfractionation. 
This regimen contains many drugs, however, the, the doses are fractionated. See that for the drugs in the regimen. And the, the regimen is actually is, is composed of two arms, arm A and B. So, the, the arms alternating, in the first arm, we have high dose methotrexate and RSE. Alternating are the other arm with fractionated cyclophosphamide, vincristin, doxorexin, and dexamethasone. So C that C stands for cyclophosphamide, B for vincristin, doxorexin, smooth valley, and realizin. Instating A, the protocol to refer to doxorexin, and B for dexamethasone. This is alternating with high dose uh, sacarabine and for number of cycles, okay? The enhanced C VAT, as the induction regimen, can achieve complete remission in many adult patients with ARN. And plus hyper C VAT, we treat according to the findings. If the adult patient has the different chromosome positivity, we add an antenna or we add a PCR ADN attack. If the adult patient has B cell ALN, that is CD20 positive, we add another type of therapy, which is a monoclonality, what we call rituximab, and then not know the RH. So these are targeted therapies in case the target was there. And that is an RPNG for the chromosome, but was not B cell 20, uh, CD20 positive, we only go with hyper that. The hyper CVAT with induction regimen of trials like A and L adults. In adults and young adults, still you can use hyper CVAT, but it's a little bit more toxic than the drug induction regimen we use in pediatrics. But in the younger range, the right to start with medicine and young adults from smoking, and Eugene, I can't shoot them in practice, more than A and L. The many are shooting them and the same thing. It happens. We used to treat them with high pressure fat. It's very good results. And ALN relapse. And the relapse means what? I'm not going to see the relapse. It means what? So much better. What is disease relapse? Yes? It comes back. So after the patient was free, it occurs again. Right? So, in, in, in disease relapse, always, in any kind of tumor, is usually worse than initial or primary carcinoma. And it can come with involvement of new sites. Our regions, different from original regions, is a Michigan, the solar cancers. Is a solar relapse in ALN patient where you can find where is the involvement? Where you can see the leukemia site? Common sites of relapse include CNS, can you know? Marie can have CNS involvement at presentation, not can usually. That in the relapse, CS of analysis show CNS involvement, infiltration in the CNS. Testicular involvement in the uh, in the main patient is, is something really bad. It's really bad. Oh, bone marrow itself. Okay? But a disease relapse requires another course of therapy. And now, we need to do an induction therapy, so I have to stop them and the reactive protocols of the hyper-C guidance. So the goal is to achieve complete remission. Less than 5% of the glass in the marrow of the blood. That's the goal. So we start our first induction. If we do not achieve after like a month, if we do not achieve complete remission with the, with the standard induction regimen, we reinduce a hemorrhagic induction too. In the reinduction, we go with more aggressive treatment because the standard regimens did not work. But other than the induction plan, we uh, more intense, more aggressive, we can add more drugs into the regimen. You know, I'm going to check a direct the leader, maybe two weeks. Check again. Did we achieve the mission or not? After second induction, if we do not achieve the mission, 
when they intensify the vigilance. Um, probably we have to go to the salvage regiments, the last options. And usually the regiments here are very, very close. Hello. The prognosis in general, that patient who cannot achieve complete remission after the first induction, the percentage, the probability, how likely that this patient will achieve remission after second induction is very low. So failure to respond to the first induction is a bad sign. Failure to respond to the second induction is also a bad sign, okay? So here we keep trying, okay? After the third induction, if we do not achieve complete remission, most of probably this is a recovery case. The cancer cells are not responding to chemotherapy. Resistant, refractive. There is not many options that we can do. For prognosis and inability to respond to induction regimens is, is bad. And it can happen sometimes, especially in adults and elderly. So we have many regimens for management of relapse disease and induction for patients who come with relapse disease. In general, the role in general. The longer the relapse time, the more likely the patient to respond to them. يعني مثلا كثير احنا يعني الحين في الاقدام لما بنقول ريلابس بيهمني كمان تايم تو ريلابس وين ذا ريلابس حابب ليتس هاف تو بيشنتس فور اكزامبل وان اوف ذيم ريلابس افتر وان يير اوف تريتمنت كومبليشن اوف تريتمنت اند ذا اذر ريلابس افتر فايف ييرز اند وي ونت تو تريت بوت اجين هو از مور لايكلي تو ريسبوند تو ا نيو اندكشن ريجيمنت Short relapses, long relapses. Long relapses. Hello. In very short relapses, in general, means that the prognosis is bad. Why? Because the treatment was not sustainable. It did not give you a long-term effect. Why this happened? Why patients relapse shortly after therapy? And if they want cancer, relapse can happen within a few months. Okay, you don't know. You don't know. Small cell lung cancer, very common. Now, here the thing is, and this is like this one. Most of the time, okay. Protein CNS profile 
analysis is not indicated. Okay? But we have to take CMS involvement if it exists. There is a kind of CSF analysis, free of leukemia cells. We do not give therapy for CMS prophylaxis. Okay? Then now, is a can free leukemia cells and the CSF? We have to treat for CMS involvement. In, in, in treatment of AML and adults, we have two phases. Maybe. We start with induction to achieve complete remission, same thing. And then we have consolidation or post remission therapy. In, the, in, the, in the treatment with AML, not in too many phases like uh, AML. Okay, so I think that these two phases maybe. In absence of CNS involvement, we do not give CNS prophylaxis as routine, but we have to treat CNS involvement if it exists. Definition of complete remission in ALN is the same as ALN. Last count is 5% in the marrow or in the blood. Normalization of CBC or blood pressure. Hello. The medical prognosis from all in all is worse. It is likely in the human left here. After induction for estrogen, they might not achieve complete remission. It's a thought failure and two phase or and two patient and three weary injuries before we go to post remission or consolidation. <laughs> the standard regimen, what regimen we use for induction of uh, AML, we call it 7 plus 3 protocol. Contains two drugs, Dalloxin and Fosycline. And uh, RSE, offset RNA. And Dr. Bessin is given for three days. So, three here refers to the duration. In, 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 in anthracyclines in general, Dr. Bessin, Dr. Bessin, we now do shots of very short infusion time. We don't give them as sustained or long infusions because there are extra resistant, Shiyani resistant. Sharing the land of civilization. Sharing doesn't get chemotherapy. therapy. Sharing the land. And we give the 7 plus 3 protocol and we 
achieve complete remission, then we go to consolidation. Next, we prepare the consolidation mode and go to treat residual disease or eradicate any leftover leukemia cells. In, in, uh, in options for consolidation in AMM about patient, we have valuable options. If consolidation therapy selection be in adult AMM, it can be over and out of the money. Who is at the highest, lowest cytogenetics? And how can we assess them? Low, intermediate, and highest. Hello. Patients who are not elderly, they are below 40 to 60, the Hassan, the Rina. And good cytogenetics, when you are not high risk for disease recurrence or relapse. Okay, the cytogenetic analysis is good. They have good cytogenetics. We have two options here for consolidation. In induction, 7 plus 3, regardless of the risk. Induction has standard, 7 plus 3. Hello. In this good population group, young, so they can tolerate high doses of chemotherapy, fetal cancer in the tree and we can have performance status. أحياناً المشكلة في التريتمنت ما بتكون بالكانسر سيل أو البابيليشن أو تايب، أما بتكون بالمريض نفسه. يعني هل رح يتحمل المريض التريتمنت؟ كان the patient tolerate the protocol؟ Sometimes the protocol toxicity is too much and so we cannot give this standard treatment. We have to go to something else because the patient might not, not tolerate the protocol. Now, the better the performance status, the younger the age of patient is better because they can tolerate more aggressive chemotherapy regimens. So, we have two options here for consolidation. Four cycles of high dose set therapy. RSC dosing could be low dose, average, and high. In induction protocol, we use the standard dose or the average dose, around one gram per square meter. Another important information, not of them, not of but not all, most, but not all. Chemotherapy drugs are based on, if not be more, kilograms, oh, by the way, if not be more, by the service area. The doctor has the square meter. عشان هيك كل مرة بيجي عندنا المريض شو لازم نقيس؟ وزنه وطوله. هلا الأدلت بيشنت أنلاك إنه طوله يتغير بس إيش ممكن يتغير؟ الوزن. فأنا راح أحمل لكم على الإيلاد من معادلة الـ DSA. هاتوا كاتب حدا بعرف كيف أحسب الضغط البادي سيرفيس أريا؟ إكويجن البادي سيرفيس أريا؟ أنتوا ما أخذتوا إيش حاسب ما أخذتوا؟ ما حدا عارف؟ حسابات الدبي سيرفيس الي؟ طيب فمعظم الكيموثيرابي دوز على سكوير ميترز او الدبي سيرفيس اريا وفي انها كيبينج اللي هو شو؟ شو الماكسيموم فاليو اوف الدبي سيرفيس اريا اي كان جو ويرك اف اي تريت ويرك شو الماكسيموم؟ Two. That's cable. Yeah, I see. I have set the body surface area of the patient obese. For a two point six, I calculate my dose in this of two point six. I have to stop where? At two. Okay, that's the maximum I can go for. Two. But is that? If we are not taking the regimen, I will have to call. We give the dose based on for most drugs, but there are exceptions. Course. But for most chemotherapy, the dosing is based on body service area. Now, for adults, the height will not change, but for the reactions, the height will change, right? Every time the day, the baby, the boy, the girl comes, لازم أنيس طول الوزن. It might be said, إحنا خلص نعتمد من طول الوزن in as our cycle. This is likely to change, especially in pediatrics. But next to the body service area, hello. Then we put a high dose RSC. We go up to two grams, maybe three grams in some references. This is this is very toxic, relatively to the low dose or uh, average dose. But this patient population can tolerate 
And so we can go with my scientists and find us with adenine. That's it. The other option is one cycle of high dose RSC with the plan to do hematobiotic stem cell transplantation. We will do marrow transplantation. What do we do in non marrow transplantation? Should go, what's the goal? Should I have a procedure for marrow transplant? Should not have one in our Should not we are transplanting what? Shall not be married to the same. Stem cells. You have a muscular way, which is more narrow, the differentiation. So here we are transplanting new blood stem cells. But I know I have a total this end. So I have one that transplant. A total this end, not done. Allergen. Good. A total this means what? Yeah. 
respect me that you not eat the seven plus three and that's not the point. Less minus and the second. Oh no, that's it. Hasad the Hamman, not the Hamman Marie. Okay? And then the second, and I'll take it down the other side. The other side. Okay? With the RC. Assassin RC. With without. And the second. Reduce those high dose. So if I mean, how about they? How about those in the bed? The low dose with the standard dose. Okay? It's not a standard dose, it's not a very low dose, it's something in the middle. One to two cycles, and I'm not coming high dose RSC. We have two, two other options. I said we have one other drug option. We have here, we will have um, should the Mariaricum as a cytidine with the cytidine? Should have it been? Keep the sugar in hand. Epigenetic modifiers. Pardon? Epigenetic modifiers. Epigenetic modifiers. Epigenetic modifiers, excellent. And sugar and the zap, no, the epigenetic modifiers group. Uh, 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 
uh, storage base, a plan on the need for activating agents, so it depends. Five energy induction, high dose RSC plus another drug. Okay? When we the RSC is very important, and we keep it, but we change the other drug. We change the other drug. Okay? Graph versus 
Yeah, how? Yes, how? Yeah, versus speaking, in fact, is good. Dish. Cherry grat. Cherry grat. Cherry grat. Cherry grat. You know, it's how? Cherry grat.
يعني البروجنوزيس اول ان اول ذا كيس بيكون ريلي ريلي باد. ريلاكس بعد البول مارت ترانسبلانت از ا فيري فيري باد ساين. اومينس ساين شو يعني كلمة اومينس؟ تقرأيها في التطور شو يعني اومينس ساين؟ اومينس مين؟
هلا another potential option هو الكلوبالبين هو بيورين انابول ممكن ينعطى از مون ثيرابي ابروفد وعادة بيعطوه كل انستي كمان عند الانداكشن ريجيمنت للسالفج ريجيمنت للنوتا جوكس هاي معهم اي اقل ريجيمنت اوكي ف وي هاف مور ذان ون اوبشن فإذا احنا بالاي ام ال تو سامرايز الاندكشن ريجيمين از ستاندرد سيفن بلس بي بروتوكول وذا ستاندرد دوز ارسيت الكونسوليديشن حسب البوبيوليشن عمر الطريق السايتوجينيتكس اذا بيدياتريك وي هاف تو ثينك اوف اندوجينيك بون هارت ترانسبلانت اذا ادلت اوكي وي ماي ماي نوت كونسيدر اكولوجيس Normal transplant after RSE treatment. The standard will about who will RSE in high dose, except in those above 60. Now we can have high dose RSE. We can have one to two cycles of standard dose RSE or low dose standard dose RSE. I will not have one to two cycles of DNA and transferase inhibitors. And the relapses can happen. If the side relapse with adults, we treat with chemotherapy to solve the dredges. If the side relapse after allogenic transplant, meaning young adults and pediatrics, we may may not consider another allogenic transplant as a part of the relapse. Okay? As, as I said before, the pediatric is an allogenic relapse for a bad sinner. We can do another transplant. The other center will not be salvage regions. Okay. The whole event in APL. It was a shanty press. It was a cool one. Thank you. 